with an After Effects tour on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. Even though today is Sunday, I guess that makes this a seductive Sunday. Well, that's kind of wrong because it's Father's Day. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> what's up, guys? I haven't talked to you guys in a while. And the reason why I'm making a tutorial today on Seductive Sunday is because um, Brandon told me that you guys were wondering where I was. And the reason why I've been gone is because of this right here. Look at all these videos. This is all for one client, and we had to make all these videos for him. So been a w it's been like three weeks or something. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, Brandon's made a few tutorials, and I'm so happy he has because he's been keeping you guys occupied. I'm sorry. It's not that I was dropping the ball. I've been working really hard. But anyway, um, today is Father's Day, and I need to hurry up because my father's coming over at 4.30. So uh, let's get started with the tutorial. Um, yeah, so here's what we're doing today. A nice glossy text, like kind of icy looking, turning into a frozen text with a cool animated background going on in the back. Everything created within After Effects. No third party plugins used or anything like that. So, pretty awesome. I'll be including um, everything that I use for this tutorial. The only thing that isn't inside of After Effects is this icy plate. That I found on Google it was a royalty free grunge texture. I'll include that in the project files. Just check the description below. And without further ado, let's get started on the tutorial. So let's open up After Effects, click create new composition, 1080p, 10 seconds long. I mean, this is pretty basic, guys. I don't have to hold your hand, do I? Come on. <laughs> so right click down in this blank canvas area, new. Solid. We're just going to get started with the nice icy background. So let's go ice BG and mine is a nice bright blue. You can always use those colors if you want. We're going to be changing them anyway. So boom, let's go over to our effects and presets and type in 4 dash color <laughs> and then drag and dropper onto here. And already you have a nice icy background. So moving. <laughs> Just kidding. So, I'm so stupid with my stupid comedy jokes. I'm going to click this eyedropper and just click the color we already picked. I'm just going to go down the line and just click each one. So, I have a nice starting color all at the same that I can just change them myself. So, I'm going to go down. I'm going to make that one kind of dark. This one. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. Uh, let's do a nice kind of darker. Nice, 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 nice. Uh, and this one could be a little brighter, I think. Cool, cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, we are recording. I was just checking that. Wow, that scared me for a second. It stayed on for a long time. Okay, so uh, we're going to turn up the blending a lot and just move these around until we get a look that we really like. Um, yeah, that looks pretty cool to me. And now, here's something weird that you have to do. Go over to the effects and presets. <laughs> We're going to type in cinder, and you're going to find the cinders in the background presets, and uh, it's going to create something very cool. You see that? Look how cool that looks. It's animated and everything, but we only want a few things from this. So go up to four color gradient, select it so you can delete stuff, then select glow, delete it, delete tritone, delete fractal noise too, and then you're just left with this nice animation right here. Um, so what we're going to do with this is this is going to act as our cool icy look for the background that's animating. So go to the blending mode and we're going to change it to add. I'm oh, sorry about that cut guys. I had to blow my nose. That was kind of weird. I am still a little sick with allergies and stuff. I, I don't know. I'm always freaking sick. I hate it. I, I need vitamin C or something, but I'm just a wee butt, a wee butt sick. So uh, <laughs> I'll battle through it. So if it sounds like my nose is kind of clogged or whatever that's because it, it is and I'm very sorry but uh, let's continue with the tutorial so where was I oh yeah change the blending mode to add and then uh, we're actually going to turn down the opacity because uh, it's, it's kind of intense we don't want it that intense and here's where it's cool um, if you guys want to add more of an icy look to it you can always turn the brightness up and then if you want to get rid of some of the icy look to where it's just barely even there. You can always go into the negatives with the brightness and then it's just a very slight icy look. And uh, I like mine not too icy because I'm going to have like an icy background. So that looks pretty good to me. 
And now, what we're going to want to do is bring down the drop down menu for the effects and fractal noise. And you'll notice that the animation only lasts five seconds because that's where the evolution is keyframe. So what we're going to do is we're going to select just the last keyframe, bring it all the way back to 10 seconds, and boom, we are good. So now that animation lasts the entire composition. Okay, so moving on. <laughs> Finishing off the background, uh, let's double click in this blank canvas area and find the icy plate layer that I'm providing for you in the... Uh, description you just gotta click the project files download link or whatever so we're gonna drag and drop it on top of the ICBG and now we're going to first set it to soft light and then we're going to hit S scale it up just so it goes over the entire comp okay that's cool okay so now uh, you can always go through the blending modes and look you know, see if you find one that you like more. I kind of like hard light, but I'm going to lower the opacity by hitting T and bringing that down. Oh, and if you don't have the uh, blending modes right here, you can hit F4 and it brings it up. And here's another trick. If you have this selected and you hit Shift Plus, you can go through all the blending modes just with your keyboard, which is nice, but I'm going to stick with hard light and I'm going to bring down the opacity some more because we do not want this to be the center of attention we want really <clears throat> the text to be the center of attention so about eight is where I want mine you can always do whatever you want though I'm not the boss of you goodness okay so <laughs> moving on the last thing we're gonna do is add the text so let's add the text by right clicking going sorry right click new text sorry I did that so fast I'm not used to making a tutorial I'm sorry goodness <laughs> anyway, oh, now I now I need to do it again anyway. So right click new text. And now that's just right in the middle and let's just do a nice frozen word again, okay? And I'm using something called Dosis. It comes with all of these, which is really awesome. It's free. Just type in Dosis in Google and you will find it. If you want to use this, you can use whatever text you want. It'll work with anything. I'm just going to scale it up. And what I did there was I clicked the bottom corner and I held shift down to make sure that it didn't get all strange on me. And now I'm just going to move this by eye until I think it's center. Is that center? It looks uh, maybe a few pixels down. Uh, maybe one pixel to the right. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now let's start making this text. This text needs to become like a glassy slash glossy look. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to go up to layer styles. I'm going to add a bevel and emboss. I'm going to bring down the drop down menu for it. And we're going to leave it at smooth. And the depth is fine too. Uh, but we're going to size up the size to about 15. And maybe uh, that, that's fine. That's fine. Hey, sorry about that cut again, guys. I have no idea. Like interruptions keep happening. People are already here for the party. So man, I need to hurry this up. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but someone just turned on some music outside. It is loud. Okay, so anyway, where was I? Sized it up, and uh, we're going to keep the global light off. But here's how we make it. Well, here. First, let's start with this. Let's go up to the frozen text layer, and we're going to change the blending mode to soft light. So, I mean, that's, that's kind of cool, but a glassy look has the highlights white as well like on both sides it doesn't have any shadows so what we're gonna do is we're gonna change the shadow modes over here to exactly what the highlight modes are so I'm gonna change the color to white then we're gonna change the uh, blending mode from multiply to screen and boom that looks a million times better am I right player I, I know I'm right so <laughs> Here's what we're going to do again, guys. So we're going to go up to the frozen text effects again, right click on it, go layer styles. And instead of adding a drop shadow, which a lot of you guys probably thought that was, we're going to add an outer glow because an outer glow, if you mess with it enough, it does stuff that a drop shadow just can't do. So we're going to make the uh, blending mode. We're going to change that to, uh, let's just make it color burn. And then it starts off with this nasty pale color. Let's make this actually the darkest color down here yeah hit okay 
And now let's uh, bring up the size. Uh, maybe bigger. That's what she said. Even bigger. Oh, yeah. She's a whore. Okay, so we're going to scroll down the opacity. I have such weird, weird lingo. Scroll down like what? <laughs> and that, look how cool that looks. A drop shadow just can't do that. So that's really cool. So anyway, um, we're, we're just about done with this first frozen text. But what we're going to do now is we're going to control and D. Control D to duplicate it. We're going to go up to the masking layer. I'm going to scroll out using the scroll wheel. And we're just going to draw a very crude mask through the middle of this. But we're going to make it kind of wavy. So it's going to go like this. Oh, yeah, that's cool. See how cool that looks? And there we go. That looks awesome. And what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to delete the outer glow for the top layer just because that... It's, it's too much. It's, 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 it's just too much. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to, but I mean, I did. And I mean, uh, you know, I am making this tutorial, so I, I kind of know what I'm doing a little bit. <laughs> so now what we're going to do is going to go to the mask, and uh, let's just hit M to get there faster, and let's just turn up the feather. And on this one, let's just turn up the feather a lot, maybe into the 30s. Yeah, to really blend that. And then that just adds another kind of frozen element to the text. So now that that's done, we're going to duplicate the frozen two layer uh, the, because it's different. It has that mask on it. We're going to duplicate that layer. And now this is where the frozen effect comes in. And this is so strange, you guys, how this works. So let's start with, where should we even start with me showing you guys this? Let's go down to the bevel and emboss. So we had it an inner bevel. Let's change that to an outer bevel. Okay, so that kind of gives you, you're kind of getting an idea of why this looks the way it does. Let's actually turn down the size. I actually know. I just don't want it too puffy because then it looks. Just, I don't know. Let's turn up the uh, the depth and maybe the size down just just a tad. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so this layer we're going to change to luminant pre-multiply. Just uh, it's just a different thing. So uh, with the bevel, actually no, let's go to the the mask. So hit M and then hit F for the mask feather. Let's bring this down to like four pixels. That'll give it a nice sharp look. Yeah, nice. That that makes it look more like snow. That's cool. And uh, now, it's not animating, so what we have to do is we're going to go to one second, and then we're going to go to the mask, hit M, and then go down to the uh, mask expansion. We're going to click uh, stopwatch, that stopwatch, and we're just going to go negative until it just goes away, but we only want it right to the point where it goes away. So, it's going up there, it's not quite gone yet, still on some of them, come on buddy. Almost there. Uh, yeah, it's gone now. So then we're going to go to 8 seconds. We're going to make it go all the way down. Animating, animating. Let's go. Cool. Okay, so now with that simple two keyframes, you just created snow freezing over this text effects, which, which is really cool. I love how it looks. <laughs> and with that, now we can kind of make it look a little better. So let's right click, go new, adjustment layer. And let's just call this color correction plus snow. So we know exactly what's going on here. So uh, before we do anything with that, let's actually create a vignette. So let's call this Viggy. And let's make it black. It's not racist, it's a color correction term. And we're going to go up to here, and if uh, yours isn't the on the ellipse tool, just click and hold, and then go down to the ellipse tool, then double click on it. It'll make a mask. We're going to invert that mask. We're going to hit F, and we're just going to size her up a lot. Um, how much do we want? Oh, no, that's not even enough. No, it's never enough. I don't know what song that is, but don't remember. 
That should be good enough. Now let's change the blending mode to soft light. And boom, already looking awesome. So now let's go over to the effects and presets again. And then let's make sure that we type in, let's do a curves adjustment first. Click and drag her on top of the CC. That's color correction. Let's bring down the, the darks a lot. Uh, not that much. Just color correct until you get something you like. Ooh, that's looking kind of cool to me. I like how that looks. You can always keep yours bright. It's all up to you. I mean, I'm just, I'm not the boss of you, really, you know? So we're going to go over to the effects and presets again. Type in snow. Scroll down until you get to snowfall. Click and drag her under it. And we're going to bring this way down to like 4,000. Uh, the size, eh. I don't even know. Let's keep it up there. I mean, just mess with it until you get something you like. Let's bring, uh, maybe bring down the depth. Uh, wind, no. Speed, wow, you gotta turn that way down. And like, we, we only want like 20 for the speed. Spread, we can turn that up. Um, that's still a lot. Let's turn this way down. Goodness. Yeah, 400 should be fine. I mean, we don't, we just want it to look just a slight snowy effect. We don't want it too much in our face. So that should be just fine. Uh, maybe turn up the size to like eight. Yeah, that's cool. And you can always mess with the, like how it's blending, but you know, it doesn't really matter. I think it, it turns out cool no matter what you do. So <laughs> with that, now we are done with the effect and um, I'll render this out just so you guys can see. So I'm gonna hit Control M and that brings up your render window and we're gonna go click on lossless and I'm going to you can always do any of these you want but I always do Windows Media because it just it keeps it at such a high quality format at such a low file size I love it so uh, VBR quality turn it all the way up hit OK okay I'm just gonna name this uh, freeze effect example 2 save and with that we can hit render and boom we are done guys so thanks so much for watching I'm sorry I haven't been making tutorials lately but um, yeah that's gonna change now so happy birthday and happy Father's Day guys and uh, hope you guys enjoy this Father's Day like I'm about to even though there's music blaring and it's hard to concentrate I'm sorry I was so rushed guys I mean it's it's tough to make a tutorial when there's people outside having fun you know what I mean even though you guys are my only friends so thank you for being my friends. <laughs> anyway, uh, leave a like if uh, you like what we're doing here and share it if, I mean, if you want. That'd be awesome. But yeah, leave a comment too and I'll talk to you guys. So yeah, I'll catch you guys on th actually this Friday, not next Friday because this, this was a seductive Sunday. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm just blabbering on. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys later.